put my finger on your tongue cause you love me, yeah. These hearts adore, everyone they ever be tired of song. Inside this house. I cheated on you. How many times? Mm, like 17. Wait, how many different dudes? Uh, like four different guys. <laughs> and why? Why is that? Um, because he was kind of a shitty boyfriend, and I wanted to. Can't just leave him. Why didn't you leave? Him? Um, because we were so in love. Yo, what's up, Brodies? Welcome to the Bourbon Effect. My name is Tunji, and you already know what it is. So let's talk. So, you got cheated on. And you're wondering to yourself, should I take her back? And before I give you that answer, I want you to look at this picture right here. You see that image right there? You see her face? That is exactly how your girl is looking when she was getting plowed. When she was getting dug out by the next man. When she was getting fucking plowed. That was her face. And when that shit slipped out, she grabbed that shit and put it right back in. Oh, I know the imagery is so terrible. And it is eating up at you. And you are furious. You are sad. Either emotion is fine. You have the right to feel that way because the person who you thought you trusted betrayed you. And now you're left in thought. What the fuck just happened? And before I get to that, I want you to look at another image. And I want you to just imagine as he's doing it. He's probably talking in her ear, saying, is this shit for me? Who is this shit for? And she's saying his name. And she's calling him daddy. Cause you ain't the daddy anymore. And I know. It sounds like I'm trying to make you feel worse. But the reason why I'm saying this is because I need to remind you. I need to remind all of you who have been through this. That these are the things that she was doing. Things that were being done to her. Behind your back. And so. Your question was, should I take her back? And the answer is obviously fucking no. Because of the imagery that I just showed you, another man was dominating her. Something that was meant for you and you only. She gave it to somebody else. Now you want to take her back? Now you, now you want to take her back. <laughs> Boys, you already know. You know what we say. If she cheats... She belongs to the streets. Uh. Exactly. And so all that anger and frustration, that pent-up aggression that you have in you right now, this is your fucking time. This is your time. To leave that chick. Let her continue doing whatever she wants to do with that fucking guy. This is your time. To better yourself. To evolve. The bourbon effect. And so the best version of you. Now you don't have to deal with her nagging you. Now you don't have to deal with always trying to make her happy. Now you can just focus on your fucking self. 
Now you can focus on you. So that pain that you feel, that betrayal, that sadness, that depression, all those mixtures of emotions, I want you to take that shit and put it towards your goals. Put it short, uh, towards your, your, your passions. Put it towards the gym. Put that shit in the gym. All that frustration, all that pain that you felt, I want you to put that in the gym. Put that shit in the fucking gym. And once you start to see yourself evolve, then she's going to start getting curious. And then when you start putting that shit in your craft, in your career, all that focus, whatever you were trying to attain, whatever you're pursuing, I want you to take all that focus and start putting it in that. The gym, or whatever other path you're trying to pursue. And once she starts to see you do go for yourself, she'll try to come back. They was full deep, but I had one gap when got more heat, so please come back. Please spin back. She'll try. Because we don't take back cheaters over here. Leave them right where they belong. And you know where that is? Exactly. <laughs> and you want to know another thing, guys? Is that when you get food now, you only got to pay for yourself. You only have to pay for yourself. Now, I know to, to some people, that's just like, it's not a big fucking deal. Believe me, that shit stacks up. It adds up. Now, when you order food, you only have to worry about yourself. You can probably get yourself some dessert. A little, little extra. Because it's just you. I need you to take all that depression and mopiness that you feel right now. I need you to turn that into motivation. Hop your ass up in that hyperbolic time chamber. Stay under the radar and do what you got to fucking do. The bourbon effect, remember, forever evolving, embracing pain, embracing struggle. Let me say that one more time. The bourbon effect. Forever evolving, embracing pain, embracing struggle. So whatever you're going through right now, embrace it. Because this is your moment. This is when your life starts to change. And whatever you're going through right now is a story that you're going to tell in the future when you are living it big, when you're living the life that you've always wanted to live. Smashing the girls that you've always wanted to smash. But it starts now. So I'm going to give you a couple days. Maybe even a week. But after that, I need you to shut the fuck up. Wipe your fucking face and man up. And go do what the fuck you need to do. Hype inside that uh, the hyperbolic time chamber. You already know what the fuck it is if you're an anime fan. You know, you know, if you know, you know, but we didn't have to keep this that long. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet and tell you what I needed to tell you. And so you're asking yourself again, should I take her back? The answer is fuck no. The bourbon effect. We out this hoe. Subscribe.